it's a move to forestall gentrification. I, you know, it's a fraught issue because I see both points of view. Uh, the overall housing market is increasing, so the cost of purchasing property is going up. Right now, there are some people who are just trying to, to get property cheap. Yes, I support managed housing for people in low-income situations. On the other hand, if you have uh, people in some of the big mansions around here who are trying to you know, put in housing that will be attractive to higher income folks, it's going to price the market up. The city and the state could invest in underutilized housing and of course return as control. I mean, as a whole in New Bedford, yeah, we all definitely see an increase in rent. Well, in my situation, I'm blessed. I uh, rent out through my parents who gave me a good price. So about having a rent cap, uh, I think it's a good idea. I mean, definitely want to keep New Bedford a livable place. So insane rents is definitely scaring people away and just making it a hard time for people to even pay rent on time and pay it at all. So. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing that. I mean, it all comes down to the interest rates. The interest rates are so high with landlords that they have to make the rent higher just because of what they're paying their mortgage on, so I get it. Just in the past year, it's gone up. I'm moving into a rooming house because I can't afford to live on my own anymore. Ever since uh, they established that we're getting the commuter rail here, everything has gone up. It's like a, one of those situations, you have to read your room. It's insane to me that we are now officially a city. This used to be one of the cheaper places to live in Massachusetts. Now it's one of the more expensive places to live in Massachusetts, which is good. I mean, the, 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 the city's getting better. It's, it's worthwhile, but it's pushing out people that have lived here their entire lives. Just somebody needs to watch some. Not only do they need a cap, they need a cap on the person living there. They need a cap on the next person moving in. You can't just go up $200 on the next tenant. Okay, where I live, my rent subsidized, so I'm happy with my rent. But I was also homeless for a long time. The new wind, if they can bring companies like that here and give people who live here a good um, you know, living, then they can, they can afford the rent increases. When the train comes in though, I'm afraid that all the yuppies are gonna come here for the lower rents, because these outrageous rents are nothing compared to Boston. I believe a rent cap is, should be put in place because you people, especially people that are living in poverty and the, the landlords have the, the legitimate excuse or reason to up the rent. And most people can't afford their rent and next thing you know, where are they? They're homeless. You gotta remember one thing too, developers are all about making money. So if they can build somewhere, they're gonna generate money because if it's housing or skyscrapers or malls or whatever, that's what they do. I'm all for developers making money, but you know, I make it available to the public or those that are in really need can find, can find affordable housing. I mean, if I could, if I had billions of dollars I have that kind of heart because I don't think anybody in America should be homeless, number one, or not with food on their table, especially those with families.